Hold on, did it unlock? No, I don't think so. Okay, okay. <laughs> I thought I heard it go green. Like... I feel like Cool Show was a little hot on this song, like especially after the switch up. Like, if you just said, come here, like, let me throw you in the fire real fast. Yeah. Like, I know you don't fuck with these niggas, I don't fuck with these niggas right now either, so what's up? Yeah, yeah. Hey, Rondo, you trying to bring that guy on with you? So guys, so today is the day. We are finally here at the competition. Um, we're a little late, but um, it's kind of... I need, I'm not going to lock down here in a minute, but today is the day. Today is just a pretty good day. Feeling good, refill good yesterday. Got my weight back up to, I think this morning I was 262. So roughly 10 more pounds back in my body. Um, but I need to get some caffeine in me. And it's all warming up, so... Yeah, let's live by different now. Let's go. Um, this is like based on how seven, so probably seven, 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 and you need a third. When he came along, like, yeah, I'm better than Jamal. Like, even like two grand to like, I'm like, okay. Yeah, that shit talk at the time. I'm like, yeah. I, I just like my platform. I mean, there's no point in talking. Like, at the same time, like, if I wanted to take it serious, I take it more serious. So it's just one of those things where it's like, I'm an athlete first, and better. So like, for me right now, it's like it's not being. Like, I'm trying to be. That's why I stepped away. I kept trying to take a shot at you and him to get us all to compete at the same meet. But he, he doesn't want to look. 
but that's why I'm like, bro, I'm gonna step away for a second. I'm getting injured and trying to fucking chase and shit. I mean, my thing is like, if it was like, I want him, me, you, and Colton, and Colton, and like, they got some young kids coming out. There's a lot of young kids. I think, I think I've been getting people too strong. for top three men in sleeves. He took first at Pro Raw, the Pro Raw Championships in 2022 with a massive 10, 52.5 okay, kilo Okay, he total. had a bad walk out there. He knew it. So now he'll have 30 seconds. Yep. Recollecting, recomposing. There you go. That was better. Before. Oh, not there. Good catch, spotters. It's 
I'm just saying, Joey, guys. <laughs> Terrible spot. Hey, guys. I want one for two spots. So 50%. Sure My eyes are still <laughs> But um, yeah, I should just squat. Um, couldn't get stable on the squat. Um, as you can see on that 760 tip, I felt I feel back. It was bad. And I tried it again, and I got tilted forward in a hole, and I couldn't like couldn't get out. So like, I just crashed my third, and like I'm gonna save the energy for like bench uh, deadlift, so that way I don't get injured. But uh, yeah, that was terrible. That was terrible. Keep going. This would be my last meet. I can't go out like this. I can't. Second highest male uh, sleeved dots of all time of 624. He's just built too. He's so solid. He really is. He's an athlete. Wow. <laughs> he like laughs at how like that was. Oh my goodness. Okay, he's gonna go up to 225. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. I kind of had a feeling when you were saying that. I was like, it's when you say stuff like that that I just yep. feel like something's going to surprise us. <laughs> Absolutely. We like being surprised. We do. Yeah. Improving wrong. Yes. Please do. Jamal Browner, 220 kilos. is 15 up from his opener. Man, and you mentioned how Jamal is just built strong. Mm -hmm. And then you use that to structure training. And I think it's pretty fun. I agree. <laughs> and someone from the outside world might not understand why we're always filming everything, but there is a reason. <laughs> there is a reason. <laughs> we're dissecting our training. Jamal Browner. Not quite. That was 501 for the record, everybody. Yeah, so it means people come up by the second one. Anywhere in as big as you want. <laughs> so, uh, bitch, I went two for three. Well, two and a half. Two and a half. We call it two and a half. That, that press command for the third was long, bro. The 500 pounds on your chest, like... <laughs> yeah, it was good several, but... Uh, uh, moving on to Della, that's my, my forte. Opened up at 942, so as long as you execute, that's all that matters. So, opener, execute, second, we're gonna do our best in, uh, in training. It's gonna be 1014. Uh, it's been our first move, so we'll see. Uh, but that'll be a PR on the platform, and after that, hey, whatever we put on the bar for that, so that's fun.
Well, to be able to control that, that fucking frog dip he does at the bottom of it, right? Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Oh, yeah. 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 Deadlift, we've all been waiting for one of them anyway. Jamal Browner is going to be up next. Britt, we are opening. He is opening at 942 pounds. That's in 427.5 kilos. Yeah, well, he's battling for the top three today. So, going to have to put on a show. 455 kilos is the best deadlift ever. A man on a mission who's been here before. These Hansu power plates about to go for a ride. Wow. Oh, Easy. This mind blowing. I speed. want at least like a 25, 30 kilo jump. <laughs> Decent and you almost had to pack for one and then 
I was just trying to see that Lebel was. First, after the first attempt, they tore my hand off, and yeah, you already have the problem. Yeah. And second, like I was like, poking, like trying to get my pinky off the bar. Yeah. And still locked out well, so my like fucking bar, bro. Like, yeah. It's here in my hand, like even, even like I pulled the slack out of the ball on the third, and it's still too much on it. That was the first time I was, I was so confident, like I was watching it, I was like, there's no chance. <laughs> <laughs> and in first place, Jamal Browner. <laughs> that was crazy. That, that was crazy. <laughs> You want to close the video? So guys, so it's currently one o'clock in the morning and I realized I haven't recorded an outro yet. But, um, what was I going to say? It wasn't, it wasn't me that morning. But you know, it's the meet that we had. As you guys know, due to the circumstances and the training, I can't really squat. I was having really bad elbow issues. So it was like, like we had nothing to taper off of. Like it was just, yeah. <laughs> it was like, hey, go out there and have fun. <laughs> There was no squat volume, there was nothing to take off of, so like I was basically peeking off nothing, um, which was a 50-50 chance, you know what I mean? yeah. Hey, if you guys look at that video, I had like 760 on my back, right? Hold on, let me, let me reenact. I had 760, so after the first attempt, I was already kind of shaky on my walkout, because like I said, I haven't had much practice squatting, right? So I already know I'm kind of shaky. So I'm like, bet, let me just use the mono and set up in my squat stance. Bro, I stood up with 760 on my back. I said, oh shit, fuck. <laughs> and I was really about to fall. They had to catch me. Everyone's like, oh, <laughs> shit. Come on, what happened? You good? I, bro, I'm in the moment, I'm like, fuck. I did, bro. Dude, behind me, he's like, bro, you still got time. You still got time. I'm like, yeah, I got time. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? I got time. I got out of the bar. I said, so the first time, I never used a mono to kind of like, I like not stand up, I use a mono, I use a walk out. So second time, okay, I got too far forward, and now I'm right here, and I'm still shaking. I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Excuse my cousin. But, I went to a hole. I went, first, first rep, I went backwards. This rep, I went forward. <laughs> and I got folded. And then, I, my thing is like, in this sport, like the main thing you want to do is avoid injury. So I'm like, let me just scratch the third and move on the bench. So, yeah, I'm tired now, sorry. <laughs> so we uh, we scratched third squat and so we, that means we won. The percentages in my favor, we won one for two. Yeah. Most people, in, this, like, in theory, we won one for three, but on paper, I went one for two. That's, that's 50%. That's a good percentage. <laughs> but um, after that, kind of just locked in and like just got focused for bench. Um, bench moved well. Uh, 485 is something that I don't normally do in like in comp. And since so like I've hit 501 twice. So I hit 501 twice. So like that's roughly around PR. But when it comes to like squat, my best in the meet is 815. I only squat at 733, which is crazy. Insane. <laughs> Locked in for bench, went two for three, missed follow one. I had the, I had the longest pause, uh, pause for that because Trevor, I hit him. I talked to him after that, like fuck you, Trevor, because like it was a long ass pause. But he said the rule book says if the bar is still moving, then I can't give you the press command. So he said I was still sinking into my chest, and that's why the press command was so long. But. It's all good. Like just learn and adapt and do better next time. Um, then we moved on to deadlift. The bar, the bar that we used for deadlift is like brand new. So after my first attempt, I tore my pinky open a little bit, and I was kind of worried about it, like kind of tearing even more. After the first attempt, which uh, 942, it flew it went really well. So after that, we called for my best in training, which was 1014, 460 kilos. Um, can you back up, somebody? It's it's wide. Don't worry. It's 
it, it's one o'clock in the morning right now. I'm doing this recap right now. But um, yeah, man. So 460, it flew again. Um, I had a little bit of trouble at lockout because it started like tearing into my hand. So it tore into my pinky, it tore into my thumb a little bit, and then like kind of it was like rolling a little bit. And like I didn't have that problem all prep, so I just got to be more mindful of that going into my next competition. And you know, just really reciprocate what I do in training and set the bar much lower on my thumb and to prevent that. So I got I tore this thumb and I got a blood blister on this thumb and tore my pinky open. So. Yeah, showering tonight's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. <laughs> but it's all good, man. Um, so yeah, uh, what would you say the RP was that 10 15? Like RP 8 and a half? Um, yeah, I would say it was a little bit, like a, a lot actually easier than training. So I would say you probably had like a double that. Like, so, I mean, take with a grain of salt. It was still a PR on the platform, which is, you know, a good thing. Um, but it wasn't, it was, it's still far from what I can do in the grand scheme of things. So, Brandel has challenged me to lock in for a prep and really be the person I, I, I should be. Because in my eyes, like, I, I like we, we were talking in the car on the way, on the way back to the Airbnb, like, that was literally like my second best in the ever. But in a sense, it was one of the worst things ever. Like, I've never squatted, well, I'm not saying the squat is bad. But due to what I can do, like, that was terrible. That was a terrible showing. Um, I just feel like there's so much more for me to gain on bench and squat still that, you know, I just gotta, you know, focus up on like a prep and like kind of control every variable I can. That's traveling, that's diet, that's, you know, recovery, that's accessories, that's like locking in, locking in. Like, back when it's like, I need to lock in, like, I got something to prove again, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it's just like, I said I was going to bodybuilding after this, but like, I can't go out like that. I can't, I can't. It won't let you, bro. <laughs> I can't. My problem won't let me, but my ego won't let me. So, um, yeah, so after that, I just need to, in a sense, I'm still going to do like a bodybuilding prep style, which when it comes to discipline, because when in powerlifting, you can get away with a lot of things as long as you kind of control certain things. So, like I can eat what I want in moderation and like certain things like that. But when it comes to like bodybuilding, like you need like a structured diet. You can't eat like dirty. You can't like I, I just had five guys. Five guys? Oh, wait, oh wait, wait, stop, wait, stop, wait, stop. I'm delusional right now. <laughs> but I just had wing stop. I had some fries and lemon pepper wings. You had two Dang. two orders of fries. Pause. Please. And you didn't want to share them. <laughs> why are you why are you talking so much, bro? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Bro's calling me out. Like, what I do to you? I fed you. <laughs> no more, like, I need to start keeping myself and, you know, adhering myself to the standard I, like, I want to put out and, like, the athlete that I see, like, envision myself being. Um, and I know I can do that. It's just, you know, being more focused, you know, being more driven. You know, I told Rondell, like, hold me more accountable. And I'm going to hold him more accountable as a coach. Because, in a sense, like, not to call him out, but like, we just been kind of cruising. Yeah. We haven't been like, kind of like really like honed in, honed in like we, like we used to be. So, just have a lot going on right now. I told him, to, hey, hey, if Ron, if you think Rondell should come to Houston for like three or four months and we prep together, tag Rondell coming. To, say just in the comment section, right? Rondell come to Houston. And it's, how, how many? How many? How many do we need? need two. Uh, wait, what did you say? Two? <laughs> <laughs> no, I need. I need at least. At least twenty. Twenty people. Yeah. It, it, this it has to be twenty different people, or <laughs> bro, twenty different people. If you if you come to this, how long is this video? Be? I don't know how long it'll be. But if you made it to this part of the video, twenty people. Right, Rondell come to Houston. And he'll come to Houston for three, three or four months. At least three. At least three months. So we'll, we'll prep together, you know, we'll train together. I'll push him, he pushes me. And like he's, in a sense, like we can help each other. It'll be mutually beneficial. And it'll be a good prep. So yeah, because he's still in prep too. So he has a long off season, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, man, it's like, there's so much more I want to prove. I mean, I'm 29. But there's 
I've been in the game for a minute, I feel like, but it's like, in a sense, I still feel like a rookie. I, and what I've done, I don't think it's, it's nowhere near what I can do, so I, I need to do better. I will do better. That's the end of this prep series, man. It's crazy. Hey, at least we PR Della. <laughs> but PR on the platform, it's, it matches my best in training. So, uh, YOLO pool? What do you think? What do you guys think of YOLO pool? If you're right, first person comment the right answer, I'll give you $100. Damn. Damn, I'm gonna start commenting. Yeah, bro. I'm, no, no, I'm, you, guys to to comment. Comment. you guys can't comment. That's crazy. <laughs> if you guys comment the right thing, then $300. You guys don't count. You guys don't count. But at, make, make sure you leave a comment and send Rundell come these. Um, but yeah, man, uh, appreciate you guys all tuning in for this prep series. Um, and get ready for the next one, man. It's going to be an extended off-season. Maybe the, the two meets I have kind of in mind are the, the I don't want to say too much. That's it. Right. Gatekeep it. Yeah. Gatekeep it on the way. Oh, yeah. come on. Wait till we once I figure out what I'm gonna do, um, in a sense we had roughly seven, eight months to kind of prep for it. So, yeah. is it seven? No, it's like six, 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 seven. Six, six, seven. Yeah, six, seven months to kind of prep for it. So I need to, you know, lock in for a good off season. Um, check my ego at the door. Um, actually, you know, build up volume. And we already talked about a plan of action, so we're gonna kind of talk about that after my little. I eat this. I'm probably take like a week off. We call it two weeks. Two weeks to decompress. Because that was a terrible performance. <laughs> but as always, appreciate you all, you guys. Um, please continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys on my YOLO day. So. Peace. Oh, yeah, peace. <laughs> <laughs>